Hey, what's up everyone? AJ Writes Crypto, super excited to get into today's video because today's video is no other than a Cardano price prediction. A Cardano price prediction is something I've done in the past before I said Cardano, five to $7. And I still feel like to this day, that's a pretty good price prediction, but I'm going to go back and revise this one for a number of reasons. So make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's get into it. Matt, you with a week 12 portfolio. The Havoc cycle has worked out every time. And you know, what is the ultimate goal for Algorand? And where, and where do you see it in five years? So first off, Cardano's previous all-time high, September, not November, September 2nd, 2021, $3.10 for Cardano's all-time high. So let's take a look back and see, you know, what was the tokenomic situation for Cardano at the time? At the time, Cardano was actually third by market cap, and that will kind of come into the dominance conversation a little bit later in the video. Third by market cap um, with, you know, 32 point zero one billion ADA in circulation at the time. So how many how many Cardano is in circulation now is the question. How much has it grown since its previous all time high? Right now, Cardano's circulating supply is 35.16 billion, really has only grown about 9.8% in terms of its supply from the top of the last bull run till right now. And, you know, that's not really that crazy of a run considering how much other coins have grown. And, you know, it's about 79% of the way there in terms of getting to its total supply. But the way Cardano moves, it's kind of confusing. I went really far into it in my previous price prediction. Not going to do that this time, but, you know, this is the overall just right here is that, you know, as Bitcoin halves, you know, once every four years, Cardano was sort of having all the time in a in a thing called monetary expansion, and you know, and it and that is slowing as well. So in, in my past video, I said that my projected supply for Cardano by the top of the next bull run, aka Q4 2025, based off the Bitcoin halving cycle, my projection was 38.1 billion. I feel like I might have overshot that a little bit for this video for the denominator for the supply. I'm gonna say probably like 37 to 37 and a half billion is my estimation for what Cardano's supply will be based off the previous growth. But you have to also have to understand that the previous growth doesn't matter that much because it is going down as time goes on. And, and that's really the main takeaway here. So a large part of the conversation surrounding Cardano and price prediction is that, is it possible for Cardano to get to $10? I cannot tell you how many times I've seen this headline right here. It, it, it kind of gets old how many times I've seen this headline. But you know, this tweet right here from Ali Charts, great follow, by the way, if you don't follow uh, Ali Charts, uh, you know, he says Cardano seems to be mirroring mirroring its previous bullish cycle. If this pattern continues, we could witness a brief correction before ADA goes parabolic towards $10. You take a look at the chart here and you, know, and you will see that you know, based off of what happened last time with this, you know, 3,200% move that if, you know, that happened again or something similar to that happen again, uh, we would see Cardano end up right around $9 and 33 cents. And I completely see what he's seeing here. Even when you go and look at the Cardano chart, uh, which one is it right here? Like you can kind of see the run up. Let me pull this down so you guys can see it, but you see the run up from the past, right? You actually you know, consider the having way back here in May of 2022, uh, actually a little further back than this was the previous having, and you know how much Cardano ran from the previous having to now. Keep in mind that the have, having is coming up in April. Uh, you know, I, I think this is a good tweet. I do see, you know, if Cardano did what it did last time, it would be here. I see the point there, but there's so many other factors to take in other than, you know, if price action repeated itself. Uh, that is a factor, but it's it's not the main factor I'm looking at. A couple things I, I want to look into is dominance uh, and the role dominance plays the overall crypto market cap could be i also want to take a look at a gone fan and a couple other factors as well so let's look into it first off i do want to say you know how much the cardano ecosystem as a whole has grown from you know back in 2021 it, you know there was basically no DeFi, there was no nfts i mean cardano was a baby back in 2021 now you can see you know with 4.6 million wallets i mean this massive growth look at this chart right down here in this article a little bit the number of ada wallets is currently going up and to the right when new people get into crypto it's a matter of days when they learn about bitcoin to learning about cardano it's it's a top 10 
project. I feel like it will always be a top 10 project. Hopefully it gets back into the top five as we've seen, you know, back in when it put its all time high and it was third by market cap if you're not looking at stable coins. So I feel like the progression of Cardano will always continue, especially in popularity. And it has won in the streets on social media as well with the Cardano community. Don't call it the Ada gang has been, you know, one of the one of the most contagious communities in all of crypto. Not only that, I do want to touch on this story right here about Charles Hoskinson denying, you know, his uh, there was a rumor going around, a rumor going around that, you know, he was going to leave Cardano. And to be honest with you, I actually heard about this a couple months ago and I was kind of worried about it. I kind of reeled back tweeting about Cardano for a minute because I didn't know what was going to happen. I am very relieved to hear that he came out and denied that, you know, he, he is definitely, he denied that he was going to leave. He is definitely all in on Cardano. He's not going anywhere. And of, of course, you know, every project needs its leader. You think Ethereum, you think, you know, Vitalik, you know, you think Algorand, you think, uh, you know, Stacy John Allen Woods, you think still Silvio McCauley, like you think uh, Dogecoin, even Elon Musk, you know, like you connect the leader of the project to the project and Charles being in Cardano, I, I, what would Cardano be without him is really my point here. This really doesn't mean much to the price prediction, but I do want to say that I was worried when I heard the rumor on the DL a couple months ago. And, you know, I'm glad that that is over moving forward. You know, a big reason why Cardano is such a safe project to get in is because of the percentage of Cardano that is staked according to Coinbase. Uh, you know, 64% of Cardano in circulation is currently staked. So when you see, you know, really volatile projects that move up and down 10 to 20% at a time, that's not really the case with Cardano because so many people have their bags packed staking up for the long term to get that APY. And I totally understand. And this is why Cardano in, in the crypto world is a relatively safe investment. It, it is not nearly as volatile as some of the other altcoins. And it, it, sometimes it is a slow mover. Sometimes it is a bit boring, but at the same time, when this thing moves, it moves. We will get into that. And also I feel pretty safe with my bag of Cardano because I know how many people are also in it for the long term. So first off with the Cardano price prediction, we have to realize, you know, at the top, of Cardano for the last time, the market cap was you know just a, an inch over a hundred billion dollars, and we have to understand that the supply is going to grow, even if it's just a little bit. The supply will grow between now and Q4 of next year. So we're looking at you know a hundred billion dollar market cap was was the cap of Cardano at the previous all time high. So let's do a little bit of moon math here. This is my favorite place to do moon math at the CoinPerspective.com. So remember, the supply is going to grow. So I'm going to say, you know, 37.5 billion, 37.5 billion is my estimate for Cardano supply by the top of the next bull run. So let's just play with it. If Cardano was to go back to 100 billion where it was before at its all-time high, what would that mean now? That would put Cardano at $2.67. That would still be a 270% increase from right now. I mean, that is not nearly enough. That is not even the bottom of my price prediction. But I do want you to see what was once, you know, Cardano's all-time high at $3.10 with you know how much the supply is going to grow with its previous market cap from the previous all time high, uh, you know that would only be two dollars and sixty seven cents now when it was three dollars and ten cents before. So that is worth keeping in mind. And to be fair, based off Misari here, Cardano is still you know seventy six point six percent down from its previous all time high. It does have a long way to go. Uh, you know, Q4 of 2025 doesn't seem like that far away. It's already March of 2024. There is a long way to go to get to point A to point B. So let's look into, you know, what it's going to take for Cardano to at least get up to, you know, say $5. So right here on your screen is the dominant chart for Cardano with a couple really important support resistance lines highlighted here in yellow. This support resistance line was actually formed all the way back here in, you know, April of 2019. And as you can see, we actually fell a little bit from the support resistance line before, you know, going up to where it was. So it's not like Cardano has lost this support resistance and gone to, you know, to the all time high for Cardano's dominance at 4.44%. You know, it can lose lose this line and come back and recover. We've seen it do that before, but I also want you to keep something in mind that back in the time Cardano did not have the competition it has today. Has Cardano's ecosystem grown completely? Was it a baby back then? And it's much more mature now, 100%. I am very bullish on Cardano, don't get me wrong, but it has so much more competition in today's day and age. And for Cardano to get back to its dominant all-time high, around 
four uh, percent. I don't know if that is going to happen. I would really be happy to see Cardano you know, end up somewhere between you know this this right here this two point six percent to two point eight percent to maybe three and a half percent. I would really like to see it end up in there somewhere. But in terms of Cardano getting you know four to five percent of the entire dominance of crypto, that is asking for a lot. I could be wrong, but given the competition that it has, it's not the same playing field that it was before. So to do the math, you know, if Cardano was just to get back to say this, you know, 2.6, 2.8% dominance level, if the entire total crypto market cap went, you know, last time at the top of the last bull market, it was 3 trillion. If that went to 7 trillion, that would spit Cardano out at about $182 billion. If the total cap went to seven and Cardano got to here, let's look at what that would be. Come over here to the coin perspective, put in 182 billion. You know, that would be a $4.85 Cardano, a 572% increase from its price of 73 cents right now. See that when I say five to seven dollar Cardano, that completely adds up. When you go back to the dominance chart here, we're not really asking for Cardano to get back to its all time high. If the total cap goes to seven and Cardano can get back to two and a half, 2.4, right around here. You know, that would be a $4.85 Cardano. That's pretty good. Just uh, for the fun of it, if Cardano did get back to its all-time high here at, you know, $4.4 billion, that would be a $308 billion market cap. Let's just play with it. Go in here, $308 billion. With the heightened supply taken into account, that would be an eight dollar and twenty one cent Cardano, which is a you know a little bit more than a ten x right now. So that is worth keeping in mind. Um, you know, I I even think that don't take this at face value because the total cap. This is only if the total cap goes to seven. The total cap could go to nine. It could go to twelve. And you know that that's why the dominance argument that I I do like to mention dominance in videos because it's worth keeping your eye on. But the dominance argument it, it it's not the Bible. It's not a law. It's the guideline. But it's still worth looking at. So you might be asking yourself, AJ, all right, you've talked about the dominance, you've talked about the ecosystem, just give us your damn price prediction. You know what, I got you, but I am gonna take a second to thank my sponsors, Femex, Market Cipher, Crypto Chips, all links down below in the description. Make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's get in to the meat and potatoes of my Cardano price prediction. And you know, everybody, that this has everything to do with a Gone Fan. A Gone Fan is an amazing tool to use the relationship between time and price and angles uh, you know, so right here, this line, this is the one, one, which represents a 45 degree angle. Uh, you know, that is the most important level in gone theory. And as you can see in the previous bull run, when you come back here, Cardano, not once, but twice tested the top of, you know, the one, two uh, well above the one, one. And, you know, it did that two separate times and got rejected from it two separate times. So, you know, we do kind of have to think to ourselves, you know, if we continue back here in the projection of the SCON fan, fight back through these levels, get past the 1-1, one, one, what can Cardano do? So, you know, let's pull it on over here. And these two yellow lines right here is the beginning and the end of Q4 of 2025, the projected top of the next, um, you know, all coin cycle based off of the Bitcoin halving cycle. Uh, you know, somewhere between September and December of 25 is a year and a half after the Bitcoin having. That's why I use the entire Q4, not an exact month, you know, because it's a range. It's an estimate. Uh, you know, things never actually ever go to plan. But, you know, based off what we've seen in the past, we can you know make that assumption that it, it will play out again since it's happened every time before. So, you know, right here, the bottom of this level, if Cardano, you know, gets back above the one one, this this would put us at, you know, $5 and 69 cents. Uh, that completely goes with a lot of other theories of mine, especially it go, it aligns with the dominance It's a little bit higher than the dominance, but it's right in the wheelhouse of the dominance. And then to the very top here would be $11 and 91 cents. And, you know, that is a little bit higher than I am actually thinking, but it does show that, you know, if we go back and look at the previous, previous bull cycle, Cardano did touch the top of the one, two, not once, but twice. So are we going to see, you know, two touches of this level at some point in time, you know, whenever, because, you know, we have been kind of 
pumping up really early with Bitcoin being where it is, fighting for all time highs pre having. We've never seen anything like this pre having before. I think Cardano could wake up and wake up pretty fast. And I actually can kind of prove that to you. Uh, if you kind of go back to this chart over here, I do want you to realize that last time Cardano broke through this level right here at, you know, 72 cents, it did not take long from where it broke to, you know, 21 days later, Cardano pumped 100%. It pumped 100% to $1.47 after breaking this level. Uh, this kind of goes a little bit with the Ali theory from last time, but, you know, when we break this level, will we go 100% in 21 days again? So my point here is that Cardano moves pretty fast once it decides to move. Let me show you more. For reference, going back to this chart here of not ADA's price, but ADA's market cap, look how explosive this thing was before back in 2021 when he had a proper bull run. From the beginning of June to, you know, the top in May before the sell in May walk away dip, you know, in 119 days, Cardano's market cap went from 10.5 billion to 78.6 billion in 119 days. This is no joke. You know, we're finally seeing Cardano really come back to life here. You know, we actually have a, you know, a bullish cross from the 250 day EMA on the market cap chart. That is really good to see. Not only that, Cardano is looking good because it is in a price, a cup and handle price pattern. This one was in the cup and handle video that I made. If you missed that video, you know, in the top 100, there are 40 cup and handles. Some of them have played out. Some of them are on their way to play out. Go back and watch that video. If you want some pretty serious price targets, you know, there's a lot of money to be made from that video. Nevertheless, for Cardano's cup and handle, you know, this right here represents the top of the measured move around a dollar and 10 cents. And from its current price at 72 cents, filming this on Wednesday, March 6th, uh, from its current price, that is still a 51%, 51.6% move to that $1.10, $1.09 level. And, you know, this level actually makes a lot of sense for Cardano if you kind of come back in the past here. In this little box here, you know, it spent, you know, 200 days kind of ranging between $0.95 cents and $1.54. Cardano spent a, a lot of time in this box. So for it to, you know, get back above you know, this support resistance line from back here and the cup and handle measured move takes us above that support resistance line. So, you know, I don't I think once Cardano starts moving, it's going to happen fast. That is my point. I want you guys to be well aware of the nature of the beast here. Once this thing goes, it is going to rip it, Look at last bull run for an example. But nevertheless, what about the for the very top of the market? What's my price prediction? Here we go. Just a quick recap, you know, the dominance chart, this level here at, you know, 2.6% and the top at 4.44%. Translate that over to a total market cap of 7 trillion. That lower level would take us to a $4.85 Cardano. And that upper level would take us to an $8.21 Cardano. When we consider the gone fan, you really see the bottom of Q4 at $5.69 and the top of Q4, you know, right under $12. And to be honest with you, my Cardano price prediction is somewhere in the middle. My previous Cardano price prediction is five to seven dollars. But to be honest with you, I think that minimum five dollars, I don't think that's enough to be completely you know, real with you. I see Cardano at least getting to around 650, 654. That's in the bottom end of that range. And I see the top range, you know, probably being somewhere between 950, 925, some, somewhere right in here would make complete sense to me. But for my target range price prediction, I'm looking somewhere between you know, you know 650 to 925 will be my official statement with a target uh at a, around you know 780 would be my target so there you go boom just like that there's my cardano price prediction locked in let's hope that we get there i want to know down below in the comments what you think am i too bullish am i too conservative and what's your cardano price prediction let me know down below in the comments also make sure you subscribe to the channel and snatch the like button if you haven't already it's the two things that you can do to support this channel i'd really appreciate it with all that being said my name's aj writes crypto have a safe rest of your day get rich or get wrecked later